Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Since the Industrial Revolution, humans have shifted all their energy to creating things. Sometimes the results were miraculous, and sometimes, well, they were horrible. One of such experiments were the animals that humans bred quite enthusiastically and optimistically, but the results that came out of labs were horrible. Um, truly horrible. Number 15. Bubble-Eyed Goldfish Goldfish, beautiful, colorful, and a feast when kept as a pet. Only that we don't want you to have a bubble-eyed goldfish as your pet because breeding them is not ethically sound. Why? Well, they have a sack around their eyes that gets filled with fluids, and if the sack touches anything sharp, it bursts and may cause a deadly infection to the poor animal. In 1990, fish enthusiasts and breeders were very proud of their achievement to breed a fish with bubbled eyes, but it turned out to be a deformity. Because of this sack, the fish cannot swim fast, which means its food is often stolen by its neighbors sharing aquarium with it. And the burst bubble, as I told you before, means a certain infection for the fish, sometimes even fatal. Number 14. Damascene Goat Goats are pretty interesting and cool animals, as long as humans don't mess with their genetics, which they did. Now, imagine a dinosaur in your mind and make it a bit ugly and less scaly. That is how a Damascene goat looks like. Some goat breeders in the Middle East wanted more cheese, milk, and meat from them, and therefore decided to artificially breed goats, and believe me, when I say these horrific creatures produce the best milk and cheese, and even participate in goat beauty pageants as well, I'm not lying to you, and they are quite expensive to buy as well. Number 13, Wolf Dog. This dog breed has taken the dog breeding market by storm due to the extremely high demands of the wolf dog. Breed a domestic dog with a wolf and get an amazing hybrid called wolf dog. And believe me, they are gorgeously handsome. The dogs and gray wolves have a DNA that only differs for like 0.2%. But still, this hybrid is more like a wolf than a dog. As it grows older, the wolf dog becomes more and more aggressive and wild a solid physical danger to others, so I suggest you don't buy it. Number 12. Ukrainian Levkoi Cat Well, this beast appears to be born in hell, with various other scary beasts, but it actually came out of a science lab. Horrific green eyes, hound-like ears, and devilish ash-colored body, this cat was bred in 2000 by a breeder named Elena Barakuva who mixed a Scottish fold with donkey to create a Ukrainian Levkoi cat. The breed has folded ear and hairlessness as its main trait and appears to have sensitive skin problems as its main health issue. Number 11. Cartoon-Faced Horse How many of you have heard or seen of Buck the Bad Horse? He was the most badass horse ever. And now we have a real-life Buck, thanks to the scientists who bred it. The horse is slim, muscular, and gorgeous, a perfection, except that it has an extremely flat nose, which makes it hard for them to breathe, especially while running, a trait not so well cherished among horse lovers. Number 10. The Lycoi As cool as the name may sound to you, the animal itself is a horror to watch. I mean, some people may like to keep it as a pet, but Lycoys are relatively new in the market, emerging somewhere in 2011 and are not very well known. The word lycoi literally means wolf cat in Greek, and as it may appear like a wolf with its grayish look, but its traits resembles that of a dog. It likes fetching things for its owner, sniffing and cuddling. Number 9. Skinny Pig Guinea pigs are adored by many people as pets. Now I think you should all meet its cousin, Skinny Pig, a hairless animal which was created in 1978, and with a heavy heart I would say, it's very hard to love these poor animals who were created by mistake in a lab due to a rare and spontaneous genetic mutation. Number 8. Teacup Puppies Small pups are in fashion these days. They are handy, can be carried easily, and looks unbelievably cute. But what now? These small and cute pups are so fragile and weak physically that a task as simple as running or jumping can make their bones crack. It is horrible to breed an animal who is too fragile to do even small routine tasks. Some of them are so small that they even fit in a teacup and thus are named teacup puppies. 
Number 7. Ankol Watusi Cow The Ankol Watusi Cow is so majestic that even talking about it is unbelievable. The horror-inducing cow has 8 feet long horns, with a weight of more than 900 to 1600 pounds, and still manages to run and jump with great agility. Herdsmen in East Africa selectively bred females with males, having large horns so that the next generation can better defend themselves against lions and wolves. Number 6. Gibber Italicus Canary Well, this canary is probably the most bizarre canary you'll ever see. Imagine number 7 in your mind, and then take a small yellow canary bird and stretch it to cover the number. This is how Gibber Italicus Canary looks like. Why does it look like the number 7? Well, its breeders wanted it to, and I honestly don't know why its breeders wanted it to look like number 7. Maybe as a sign of good luck? Who knows? The excessive breeding of this bird has resulted in disaster for this breed, as the Gibber Italicus now has shorter lifespans, low fertility rate, and high infant morality rate. It's too ruthless for the poor bird. Number 5. Tumor Fish What do you think? If a fish has a larger head and tumor-like thing on it, actually means that she is more intelligent than others? Obviously, a larger head does not mean more brains. But this fish, a complete artificial breed, looks like an extremely intelligent alien fish. Named Tumor, or Flowerhorn Fish, for its big tumor-shaped head, it was bred in the 1990s by interbreeding Malaysian Red Devil with Trimac Sichlids from Central America and Hybrid Blood Parrot Sichlids from Taiwan, made Flowerhorn or Tumor Fish. It is an extremely aggressive breed, and its favorite food is red worms, both of the traits making it look horrific. Number 4. See-Through Frogs The first animal medical students operate on is a frog. Well, they have quite a reason to do so. The way the organs of a frog are positioned in its body resembles that of a human. But now, the frogs need not to be dead to get examined by students as scientists have created horrific see-through frogs to make it easy for students to inspect them. Number 3. Bald Chicken who is this genius to make an animal bald through scientific means? Don't they know that the fur of an animal protects it from infections and harsh weathers? But what if the harsh weather is the scorching heat of 50 degrees Celsius? The scientists of Israel are truly genius to make chickens bald through artificial means, which makes it easier for them to live in the southern region of the world. No doubt they look horrible, but it's better than their death as heat alone in Israel causes more than 10,000 deaths of livestock animals, including chickens. The Subscriber's Pick And now, let us move on to our Subscriber Pick of the Day. This image was sent to us by a subscriber. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it to us. Who knows, we might even feature it in one of our videos. Today's subscriber pick involves a very interesting backstory in which a doctor named Thomas Henry Moray wanted to create the most aggressive pair of sharks together through artificial and selective breeding. This experiment, although couldn't end well, as the idea was dropped by the scientist. This pick is photoshopped to quite an extent, but who needs to make sharks more aggressive? They are already pretty intimidating. Number 1. Sudden Death Mosquitoes this is probably the coolest and most horrific entry of our video. Well-deserved number one slot because in response to the thousands of deaths caused by malaria scientists came up with sudden death malaria. The scientists have genetically engineered malformed male and female Aedes aegypti mosquitoes whose offspring would most certainly die before reaching maturity. When these sudden death mosquitoes would be released in nature, they will mate and the next coming generation of mosquitoes would die even before reaching adulthood. The experiment has been successful so far, but the scientific community is divided on the ethical and pragmatic grounds of wiping a whole community. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel to not miss any of the amazing upcoming videos.